Uh, I think they were, uh, in a way, they were similar because they knew how to treat the the players. In my view, um, how to uh, treat them because we're all different individuals. Uh, I think that that was, uh, I think, both managers' uh, best skill. But at the same time, there were different personalities. Uh, uh, Frank Reichert was always calm. He never uh, um, raised his voice. Uh, I remember him coming into the locker room, and maybe at some times it was uh, we were leading by one goal at halftime, and you could see he was a little bit frustrated. And he used to say, "Guys, stop doing the the back heels. Uh, treat the game serious." Uh, score another two or three goals, and yeah. and then you can do your uh, uh, back heels and and uh, show off a little bit more. While uh, Sir Alex was a little bit more, uh, he was calm as well, but he he knew when he had to wake up the players um, um, by raising the voice if that was necessary. But he was also, for me at least. Uh, a people uh, person as well. He knew how to uh, to treat uh, all the individuals, and he knew what they needed, what what really uh, to which buttons to to push on. I think that's yeah. If you understand what I'm trying to say, yeah. so Alex said that you had an aura when you went in the changing room at Manchester United. I'm just intrigued um, from your perspective. What were your emotions going into the Barcelona and the Manchester United dressing room for the first time? Of course, I was very nervous both times coming into those dressing rooms uh, because uh, when I come to Barcelona, you had uh, Ronaldinho, who was uh, the best player uh, by far in the world at that time. And you had a bunch of other players that were, were on, a, on a different level already as well. And the same when I came into uh, Man U, dress room the first time with all the players there i mean gig skulls uh, rio and uh, and all the other rooney was there as well of course you're nervous but it's it's quite simple and you know that as well nick i mean once you've been doing a few practices with the with the yeah. with the players they see uh if you can hack it or not yeah, yeah. of course uh, and uh, as soon as they feel that, well, he's not half bad, everything is just uh, so much easier. Because it's it's simple. I mean, it's a hierarchy at, at any football club that you come to. And you have your main players, you have your squad players, and you have the youngsters. And, uh, yeah, you have to put yourself in a, somewhere in the pecking order and you do that by the way you train and how you play and how you perform when you train and when, when you play. And Ronaldinho also said that you're his idol. <laughs> yeah, so I was that, that, yeah, no, I was that much older than him and he watched me playing in the 94 World Cup. So, uh, um, yeah, it was obviously nice to hear that. And it was for me that... For me, coming to to uh, Barcelona came from Celtic, and where I, Celtic I was the main man. He has to come into a dressing room and see how Ronaldinho is uh, handling the situation uh, of uh, being the the main man, so to speak, it was just uplifting for me. I think he was completely different to me. I was more focused and and uh, determined to try to stay in my bubble at uh, Celtic. And uh, Ronaldinho was just more, how do you say it? I mean, he was always smiling in the morning, coming in with a big laugh. And uh, you could just see that he loved playing football. Uh, as soon as he came up to, out to the practice ground, it was just the ball straight at his feet and doing tricks that, yeah, I never been seen a very before, and I don't think I, I don't. Yeah, and I mean that's that's fascinating how you can uh, how different individuals uh, take on different situa situations. 